Hey y'all. Happy Sunday. Y'all, so I don't know why I want some cookies tonight and I'm gonna talk to you while I'm in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna do these um peanut butter cookie mix. Okay. Hope y'all had a good Sunday. Y'all it's getting kind of a little bit late in the afternoon now. But I'm mixing I want something sweet. Y'all ever just want something sweet real quick. And y'all, I had to even make my coffee late because I was out. I stayed out for a long time. Y'all, I got my Piggly Wigglies done today. Remember yesterday I said I wanted my feet done? So I went and got my feet done, y'all. And I had a good experience. And I'm going to put a little clip in this in this um, video. Show you the little Piggly Wigglies at the end. Y'all want to see my Piggly Wigglies at the end? <laughs> y'all, and I ate one of them um, healthy choice dinners tonight. And I don't know what got me. Something had got me feeling rough after I ate that. I don't know if it was the dog on the teriyaki marinade I put in there or what it was. But you know, you ever had something after you eat it, the sauce or something just don't agree with you? I don't know, y'all. So anyway, this is a simple recipe tonight. And I was kind of debating whether I was going to make a video or not. So she said the same thing all the time. But which I was because the video actually last night... I think I better be views than any of the other videos. I don't even know why. Maybe y'all like the shopping. Okay, so this is calling for two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of water. So let me go ahead and put that in there. Y'all, and I went to church today, and I went to two different services. Because I was actually trying to do something different. You know, get out my same old routine, you know, because I go to the um, movies on Sundays. But since I had already watched a movie yesterday, I was like, I ain't going to movie today. So when I went to the second service, both services was good. But when I went to the second service, y'all ever went to church and you felt convicted, you know, like when you complain about something. So the pastor was saying, she was talking about uh, pushing forward. You know, God wants you to keep on pushing. You know, you up there, you sad and, uh, you you know, he don't want you to be stuck where you are, right? And he, when she said one thing about this thing she said that got me too was she was talking about, you know, everybody complaining about they're lonely or they want somebody to need somebody. Okay. And you could just be with anybody because you want somebody and that could be the wrong somebody. You got to have time by yourself to heal. God want to heal you. And I said, yes, Lord, she's talking to me. You know, because sometimes you want somebody, it ain't time for you to get nobody. And sometimes you look at other people and think they got something so good, honey. And this ain't no better than what you had. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> but it's easy to say than done. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to say than done. But it's true. Because I'd rather be healed and whole instead of and, and out there broken instead of out there broken and breaking up everybody else around me. You feel me? When you broken up, you break up other people too. You got to be healed and whole and let the Lord send you somebody. Hello, somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the excellent word for me today. Let me stir this up while I'm talking. Y'all, but I be feeling convicted anyway. Anybody else ever feel convicted anyway? Like, you be trying to do the right thing. You be trying to be a good Christian person. And, you know, if somebody hear you say a bad word, then they talk about, oh, you cuss. Like, yesterday, y'all, I seen this uh, young lady, a friend of the family, right? And I was talking to her, and I said, I don't know if I said the S word. I don't know what I said. And she was like, oh, you cuss. You cuss, Auntie. I ain't never heard you cuss. And I was like, girl, I got a potty in my mouth. I just try not to do it. But, you know, I'm still saved. You know what I mean? I think people think just because you're a Christian that you do everything right. I think they put too much pressure on Christian people. You know what I'm saying? Because in the Bible, if you think about it, what did, who did Jesus hang with? He hung with the sinners. He didn't hang with the saints. He didn't, came, he didn't come to save the ones that was already saved. He came to save the ones that was lost. Come on, y'all. Preach it. Talk to me. Talk back to me. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, my goodness. So sometimes I feel funny, like, because, you know, I love sucking the music. I love dancing around and singing and all that. So sometimes I'm feeling like, God, you sure you got the right one. You sure you use the right one. Because I, I still like to um, dance around and cut up, and I still got a potty mouth, you know. So sometimes I be feeling like, I don't know. Am I right or I'm not right, you know? But, you know, I'm a work in progress like everybody else. Don't get discouraged. Don't get defeated. We are work in progress with everything. You know? You still going to feel that pressure. You still going to feel lonely. You still going to feel like you want somebody, even if the sucker ain't right. You know, sometimes you feel like you want something. 
Like this one lady, y'all, this one lady on TikTok said one time, she said, she was all depressed and everything. And the guy had was fooling with her, but he had left her and was fooling with some other, his baby mama or something over like that, right? Y'all, so I'm rolling these up into balls right now. Yeah, I'm gonna press them out like they said, press them out when I um what you call. But anyway, she was saying, that sucker trying to break up on me. She didn't say that. I'm talking about the dog on um peanut butter ball. She was saying that she was asking God, why can't he love me like that? And she was all depressed and said, you know, she felt so bad and she didn't know what to do and she couldn't eat and she couldn't sleep and all this, right? And then she said, you know, she thought about that thing and she said, I bring, I, I wish I could pull this video up for y'all. She was saying some stuff. She was cussing and everything. But she was like, I bring four tables to your chairs, you know, and, uh, and all this stuff. And sometimes you think about it, you think that you need somebody so bad, right? And that you cry and boo -boo and everything because they gone on. Let them go ahead on. You can do bad by yourself. You can do excellent. You can do good by yourself too, you feel? But anyway, not to get off in that tangent or whatever. But I was just saying, a lot of times, it's just a we work in progress. And it's going to take time. What did you say? Time heals all wounds. You still think about it. You still might be messed up over it, but it takes time. In a year, for real, ain't nothing. The little year that I done came out of, I thought I would look. I thought I had really did something, you know. But I ain't did nothing for real. That's all going to take time. You know? And it's for anybody else, too. Take time and you gotta push forward, keep it moving. Ask God to handle the rest and keep you in the process. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Okay. Y'all, because I'm looking at some stuff on the um YouTube that just come up on my on my for you, I guess. And I was looking at this, and sometimes you think you got something so bad. And I was looking at those Haitians and how they got to flee and how those those uh, military groups and those gangs and all that stuff took over. Sometimes you think you got something bad, you ain't got nothing. You got food, you got a roof over your head, you got a car to drive, you got a job to go to. Them people ain't got no food. They done ran them out the place, they got to leave their homes and stuff, y'all. So we got to be so thankful for what we got. So thankful. And don't think I'm preaching to you because I'm preaching to myself. I'm preaching to myself. Sometimes you feel like it's the end of the world. And people wish that they was in your shoes. They wish they was in your spot. Come on. Shoot. Some people wish that they was by themselves and they had to with their headache. Why are you wishing you was with somebody? Come on, somebody. Yeah, the struggle is real. I think this thing said it makes 12 cookies. I must ain't do these suckers right. Because it look like I ain't making no 12 cookies, y'all. And then every time I say I'm not going to get on one, Doug on video, I get on one anyway, don't I? I know, right? I say that every time. I think I done made videos all week. Yeah, I did make videos all weekend. And some of them was, uh, well, not the last one, but that one before that one, that was dirty. But I feel like I just got to keep my, myself a little busy, keep my mind busy. Y'all, so I'm over there watching. Y'all ever looked on YouTube and watched this guy, Art Fennell, if I'm saying it's right. Excuse me, Art, if I'm not saying your name right, Mr. Fennell. But um, he had this show called Country Style. Y'all, so I was just looking at that, and it was showing the black cowboys and the black cowgirls and stuff. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I, I feel like, you know... You know, I, I might not free, be from down south myself, but my mother was from them from down south. And y'all, she, um, you know, I guess it was a South Carolina, I don't know. But anyway, I, I'm one of the people, I like the dog on cowgirl boots with the shorts. I said, I know I'm country. I might not be from the, the uh, deep country, but Maryland is country enough. But why I said, shoot, I need to go down to the in North Carolina, uh, and they had this uh, big rodeo or whatever down there, y'all. Oh, my God. I said, Lord, have mercy. That looked like it was so much fun. I don't know how to ride no horse. I wasn't brought up on no farm or nothing. But I was like, that looked like so much fun. Just being out there 
with everybody. And then he was saying how the black folks down there at their rodeo, they just there, everybody there for fun. They ain't there to be um, fighting and fussing. They going on a horse ride on a trail. They do a four-hour ride. I ain't said I was going to do that part, but just to see us, our people together. You know what I mean? Just to see our people together. That just makes me feel good. So you just see so much violence and hear about so much violence. Sometimes it feel like it's so much violence. You be thinking to yourself, is it anything ever good? I mean, sometimes I think that like, hey, is it anything ever good? Y'all, why am I going to put some chocolate chips on this? No, I don't need to put no chocolate chips on nothing. I'm going to put some chocolate chips on this. My little baby chocolate chips. Where they at? There they go. But you be thinking that to yourself. Like, is anything ever good? You just see so much negative, so much bad. And I'm not going to put chocolate chips on all of them. I'm just going to put it on some of them. And I hope they turn out. Y'all know what I really would have liked. I'm going to tell you what I really would have liked. Because I, I feel like the feet were expensive. I said, I might have went and got the massage. So I got the gel, um, the gel, um, polish this time because I didn't have my flip flop. So I was kind of like in a rushing oil. You know, I wasn't rushing, but I mean, like, I wasn't going to have, I didn't want to mess my polish up. So, and I didn't go to the same place. I went to somewhere different. So, um, it cost 20 extra dollars for that gel polish. I'm like, God darn. But anyway, so my feet was expensive because of just a little design by themselves is what, $5? I don't know if it's $5 a piece or $5 a gallon. Then the, the spa package I got was uh, $50, $45 or $50. Because I want this squirrel and I want this and I want that. And I still feel like they don't do enough good enough job. I mean, she was good. But I feel like if anybody, is it just me? If anybody else feel like this? that you go there, and it seemed like that they do more rubbing your leg than rubbing your feet. I felt like that lady rubbed the, the time off my leg and didn't even rub my feet enough. I was like, is it me? Or just everybody want to play with somebody's legs? They'd rather rub the legs than rub the feet. But she was a sweetheart. I tipped her and everything. She was a sweetheart. Even though I paid a lot of money, I still tip because if people do a good job, tip them. Okay, you bake it for eight to 10 minutes. You tip them, folks. Ain't that right, y'all? So, I was glad I did treat myself. And that's what I told y'all. I told y'all treat yourself. And what I'm looking for, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm looking for, too, while I'm doing this. I am looking for, and I told the lady, uh, just a massage for the hands, okay? Because they do, um, they do manicures, but I've always noticed every time I get a manicure, no matter where I go get the manicure, every time I get a manicure, y'all, they cut around them cuticles and they make my skin peel right around the cuticles. I don't care where I'm going to get it done. So I was like, from now on, I'm not going around there and um, getting no manicure like that. I think I'm going to let them trim my nails. But I'm looking forward just like a hand massage and an arm massage. I'm like, I'm going to have to pay for that. But I'll be trying to keep my little dollars in my pocket. But you know, sometimes you just want to be pampered. When you don't have that significant other to pamper you, to rub your back, to rub your feet, to rub your legs, or whatever. You do need to be pampered. But the Dove on um, massage was $130. But I was like, dang, by the time I spent all that money for my feet today, um, I could have put the rest of the money together and got the Dove on massage. So I still ain't got that. And I keep saying I want to go get another massage. I had one years ago for like my 30-something birthday. And the lady was so rough. I was like, oh, God. I don't want nobody that's rough, though. But, that, y'all, that's what I want. And one day, I'm going to treat myself to that massage. I ain't treated myself to that massage yet, but it's coming. But um, I'm going to show y'all my Piggly Wheelies, but I can't show y'all the Piggly Wheelies in the kitchen. I don't think I can show y'all in the kitchen. There ain't no food out right now. I could, let me see, but if I put it on the um, chair, did you still maybe see it? I don't know. Y'all want to try and see? She said, she crazy. She crazy. She crazy. Let's see. I got so much junk here. Let's see. Let me put the chair up in. Let me see the chair. Y'all can't see nothing in that chair. No. <laughs> I'm about to sit down in this room and show you the pickle with this. All right. We're going to taste these uh, cookies together. Cookies and coffee. All right, y'all. I done tilted this camera down. 
I just tilted this camera down. We're going to try to show y'all the feet. We're going to try to show y'all the feet because I've been talking about these feet and talking about these feet. Let me see if I can see them in the camera. Can y'all see them pickly wiggly? You see the color, the red with the little um, thing on the top? Huh? <laughs> see, this lady is crazy. So I don't know why. This lady crazy. All right, let me check this part out and see if y'all saw them. If they look a coot, if they would look a coot. All right, and we're getting ready to eat these cookies. We're getting ready to try these cookies. All right, so I tried that. We're going to see. All right, come on. Let's eat these cookies. All right, y'all. Let's try these cookies. I let them cool off for a few minutes. Dang, I done dropped that. That wasn't the cookies, though. That was just some junk I had up there in the corner. All right, so they bigger. I think they were supposed to be smaller, but guess what? We gonna try them. This the one with the chocolate chip. You wanna taste the one chocolate? This tastes not right. Mm hmm. Yeah. This tastes not right for a dollar twenty-five. A dollar twenty-five. Mm-hmm. It's cheap, but just to do that then buy those cookies out the fridge or out the fridge section. They cost four dollars for that little even though they already cut normal. This was only a dollar twenty-five from on the dollar store. I mean I didn't take ain't not taking up the gym, man. Alright, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all. And I got the clip in here with the feet. This is a crazy video tonight. <laughs> Just laugh at it. Just laugh at it here. You're gonna be like, that lady is some kind of crazy. Yes, I know. Well, anyway, y'all. Happy Sunday. It's time for me to have my coffee and my cookies. Happy Sunday to y'all. Oh, let me tell y'all this real quick. So today, I did wear my jean dress to, to church. I had my jean dress on. I had my the necklace I showed y'all in that one video. And I still got this bracelet on. And a piece of the little thing that popped off. I got to find it. But y'all, I got this little bracelet for 99 cents from CVS. Ain't that cute? They had a bunch of little jewelry that they had in there. The people wouldn't buy. So I got me some 99 cent earrings. I got me some 99 cent bracelets. I'm going to show y'all some more of them. Because I was trying to be patriotic today. And that's why I was sad I didn't have my toes done. Because them toes was going to be on the one with the flip flops on. So they was going to be red, white, and blue today. But we're going to red, white, and blue it down on Tuesday. You feel me? You heard me. And you rocking with me too, okay? All right, y'all. So keep commenting. Keep liking and subscribing. And keep coming back. To Jackie's world. Mm.